What do you get when you combine fire with ants? Fire ants. It's all in the name. A bite and sting that makes you feel like you're on fire. Packaged in the stealthy size of a tiny ant. And it's not just the pain of being stung yourself. These ants have caused a lot of trouble for farmers across the country by munching through crops and even killing small animals. The red imported fire ant, as the name suggests, doesn't originally come from Australia. They come from the Pantanal region in South America, and in the 1930s they spread to the US, which is where we got them from. We believe there were two separate introductions. and uh, One was with ceramic pots from Texas, and the other was in a container at the Port of Brisbane, and they came from Florida. That was way back in 2001, and since then they've spread like wildfire ants. This thing affects everything. It affects the environment, it affects human health, it affects lifestyle, so it's a super pest. Ross is part of a national effort to eradicate fire ants. The program was designed to last 10 years, and this year is its fourth year in business. But getting rid of something so small, fast and stealthy is kind of hard. In the last century, they've managed to spread their wings and set up camp in parts of the world they'd never been seen before. And yes, when I say spread their wings, I mean wings. Queen fire ants are like the transformers of the insect world. They can fly, hitchhike, or even swim. Yep, swim. See that there? That's not mud. That's a floating pile of fire ants. And they all link their little claws together and they make a raft and they trap all oxygen in that raft. And off they can sail and they can sail around for two weeks if they have to. So, yeah, they're pretty OP. And that's why the fire ant eradication team has a big job ahead. To take them out, the team will have to cover all sides. Land, air, suburbia and farmland. Leaving no stone or dirt pile unturned. Here's a map of the area in Queensland they're focusing on. And this is how far they reckon fire ants could have spread if it weren't for eradication. That's quite a difference. We're the ones who are taking up the fight, but we do it on behalf of the, the rest of Australia. Some people in Australia aren't sure how well our eradication program is actually going to work, and they say even more needs to be done. But officials are hopeful. And with six more years to go, only time and hard work will tell if these guys can extinguish Australia's fire ant.